Okay, I got this from Amnasu1 on 1798. It's a very unique, unofficial Pokemon product. Looks very official to me. We got the Poke Anatomy and Unofficial. Yeah, I see, unofficial, okay. Unofficial guide by Christopher Stahl. When you buy from an artist, you're buying more than a product off a shelf. You're buying hundreds of hours of failure and experimentation. You're buying weeks and months of frustration. You're buying thousands of moments of joy, triumph, despair, and excitement. You aren't just buying a thing. You're supporting a real person. And more importantly, you're giving artists a chance to create, to spend more time doing what they love and adding to the world with their passions. Thank you for shopping small. Ooh, we got Topher Stall. I wonder if this person is actually part of the creator who actually made this book. Instagram, Topher Stall. Check that out. Instant plug, right? Unintended pug for multiple single viewers of my channel. This is probably be backlogged a year from now because I have a lot of videos backlogged. Any product you buy will support a number of people. This book's content is based upon real animal anatomy, behavioral biology, and scientific principles. However, it is intended primarily to entertain and inspire many of these Pokemon. The only fake approximations of real organisms, some bear companies and traits that do not occur anywhere in the the natural world and a few have abilities that strain the possibilities of our scientific understanding. It is the duty of this book's bearer to questions to explore to use these incredible monsters as a lens through which to appreciate the beauty, complexity, and the uniqueness of real organisms. The world is full of nameless things and mysteries yet unanswered. Go now and learn all that you can. This is a Pikachu anatomy and does that look creepy or what? I studied anatomy too. Animal anatomy for one thing. Do they actually have 150? Is that the Pokedex? I can't tell. Shoulder, Tensor. They added Togepi. This Togepi threw me off. Not gonna lie. Ooh. Ooh, Pokemon Age. That's cool. So I guess. Ooh, my. So this is actually what I really wanted to see in real life. And they have done an overview, general observations, value, physiology. Looks like they went in depth. Arnax look half the largest of all Pokemon eggs at almost 30 centimeters in diameter. That's a pretty big egg. Interesting part is every Pokemon lays an egg, not live birth. Though I do think that should be incorporated. I think the egg concept is just a mystery, but there should be live births in the Pokemon world. I think that would just make sense. Oh, that's cool. What's 12? 12 is Obasaur. Oh, that's pretty cool. 13 is Lapras. Wow. 10. Weedle, twos, magic group, evolutions, okay, you got variation, significance, function, overview, grow up with adaption. Like, I don't want to show everything in this book, because of this, you buy the book if you want everything, but this is what a Bulbasaur fiction may or may not look like. One thing when I was getting this book is that I wish the art was better, like the art, it looks off, very basic art, the random here, yeah. But it's very unique. I would support this creator, definitely, because the concept is very unique. Definitely would like to see all the generations, actually. I would like to see more higher quality, more defined, more sharp parts, because this right now, this looks unpolished. This is, I think, the first book. Also, I think this came out a while ago. 2017, so this came out three years ago. So it's definitely unique. Like, this Trimedian could use some work. It's quite an amazing book, and it obviously took some time. And the information in this book, I feel like, is incredibly valuable for entertaining purposes. Not just when it's the hardcover, it looks phenomenal. Very nice. Premium quality product. The book, the pages feel really premium. Everything about this book for you is really nice. Definitely worth the price, maybe. It was expensive for me. I still bought it because I wanted it, but definitely, if you're gonna some money on this, it's definitely a nice premium quality book. Okay, I'm sorry. I got a little aggressive there. Pikachu. It looks like half of every Pokemon or parts of it has Pokemon. Skeleton, also. Anatomy, organs, tail musculature. Join anatomy parts is actually... Join in general is very difficult, so. They still did a good job, even though I'm bashing on their art. I think they still did a very good job. Does that make sense? It looks actually like a textbook that would for like school or like in the animal section in like Barnes & Noble, which like that's the only section I ever go to is the animal section. But it looks like we got the characteristics, physiology, behavior, key facts, size, lifestyle, abilities. I would like to see that's common in these animal books is the range migratory patterns and stuff an illustrated encyclopedia of animals of america so what i'm talking about is and apparently this first book was 29.99 definitely didn't pay 29 i think i paid a dollar for this but that's beside the point i'm talking about ranges you got ranges food breeding like a litter size and whether if they're like endangered or not you know how like the endangered list there was at the iucn i think the red list i forgot it's been a while since i studied animals but yeah this is encyclopedia i have lots of books but yeah i just think that would be cool to add lots of books of animals. I got a fish one. This is Audubon. We got some really nice pictures. We got birds. Check out these birds. Ranges. Geographic. Find a map. There are books in here. Yeah. Lots of animal books. Yeah, definitely. I got a lot of books. I like books. More books here. For animals. Animals. That's all animals. Since I'm doing a tour of my house, apparently, I'm buying this a Pokemon card. Got fishies. Got three aquariums. 